here we go. About to see the grandstand. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. And that light is Atlanta Motor Speedway. All right, here we are, Atlanta Motor Speedway, home of the 2021 Atlanta's Marathon Weekend. A half marathon, a marathon, and a 5K here at this 1.5 mile NASCAR track. Is the race just multiple laps around the track? We've gotten that question a lot. The answer is no. This property actually features 80 acres of roads, service roads, roads near an airport, and it's pretty scenic. And the best part, it's pretty flat. There's not a whole lot of hills on this course. So we're gonna take you on a tour today of the half marathon course. We're not gonna do the full 26.2 miles, but we'll explain where the differences are. And you can kind of see for yourself what this course is gonna be like before you run it on February 28th. We are outside gates eight and nine of Atlanta Motor Speedway. Turn one of the track is behind me, but we're gonna run away from it for the beginning. I'm gonna introduce you to Jenny. Jenny's the event marketing manager, senior event marketing manager at Atlanta Track Club. She is our bike escort today. She knows this course probably better than anybody because she spent a lot of time up here. So you start out going on this flat road and the good thing is we're gonna be flat for most of the way. There are some hills. There's one big one in particular we were just talking about, but for the most part, it's a pretty flat course. This first mile features some really nice gradual downhills, which is a great way to start without a huge downhill so you're not burning all that energy flying down a hill, but you get a nice gradual downhill that helps you kind of ease into the start of this race. So just about a mile and three quarters into the race, we're now on one of the real back roads of the, of the property. And you can see by how Jenny's going downhill on the bike, you get a nice little downhill here. So we just hit the mile two mark here on this road. And just a little uphill happening right now. Um, again, not bad, you can see behind me what we came up. But look, it's rolling hills, which is how we describe the course. So you can see one up there, but no mountains at this point. There's a mountain, but it's a short mountain. And that's coming a little later. All right, go around another hairpin, which means guess what? I think you can probably figure it out, but that hill I was just, laboring up now we're going to go down it so there is some benefits to the out and back what comes up must come down we will see lots of people coming the other direction so there's really going to be a sense of camaraderie out here among the marathoners and the half marathoners who are of course still together at this point just about two and a half miles into the race and we're heading out now away from the track on Speedway Boulevard. We're gonna go out to a road that runs outside the track and then back in to some of the infield uh, inroads there. Four miles in, still no major hills, definitely rolling. Of course, the day we picked to go out and run this, the weather's pretty near perfect for a long run. I can only hope you guys get this kind of weather on the 28th. There are 4.3 miles. You see the only signage to the Henry County Airport. There it is. There are the planes. It seems like a pretty busy place for aviation. So maybe we'll get some cheers from the sky. We're turning on to Lower Woods, Woolsley, Woolsley. And this is, you know, a pretty busy road. I just hit mile five. And uh, this is a bit of a stretch, a bit of mountain back. You can see the speedway over there. And as you can tell ahead, it's rolling hills. You're gonna need to have some mental toughness here. You're halfway into the race. We're on a four lane highway. But the good news is you're not out here very long. And the next turn after this is where you start the most scenic, really unique portion of this course. Earlier on in the video, I referenced the presence of a mountain, and that is true, and it's coming 
just over 12K into the race. It's short, but it's steep. I'm gonna try to talk as I go up it. It's not gonna be pretty. Jenny's got a bike up it, which might be harder. Um, if you've ever done the Marine Corps Marathon, this is like the finish. We run 26 miles, and there's like this joke with 0.2 miles to go. Cause you gotta run up to get to the Iwo Jima Monument. But look at the payoff. That was what, 20 seconds maybe? And now we're overlooking the one and a half mile. That line orange speedway. So we're almost to nine miles and we're gonna go over these bridges here, just outside the track or under these bridges. And we're working hard to get volunteers to be standing up at the top as cheer sections, cowbells, signs, cheering you on as you run your last mile if you're running the half of not being on the track itself. So this will be a pretty cool spot. For the marathoners, you can hear Jenny's my cheer zone this morning, which has been super helpful. And uh, that'll be a cool spot. We just hit mile nine. One more mile out here and it's into the speedway. All right, marathoners, this is where you have to say your goodbye to your half marathon friends. This corner here, the half marathon will turn left and the full marathon will turn right. So if you bet a buddy, you're doing the full, you're running the half with them, you get about 9.7 miles until you have to go your separate ways. And now it's just half marathon course from here on out. So we're not the only game in town. This is the beginnings of the set of Spider-Man 3. I think it's like the ninth Spider-Man 3. I feel like there's been a lot of spider fan franchises. Spider-Men, not sure. But that's going to be a replica of the Manhattan Bridge. Here we go, folks. The moment you've all been waiting for. Running around Atlanta Motor Speedway. We're running in here under the track. We're gonna do a little bit of time on the service roads and then we're gonna go on onto it. We're just about 10 miles in. Cool tunnel with the echo effect. So you gotta go up a little bit of a hill onto the track. I just hit the 10 mile point right there as I came out of the tunnel. And we're going up. Here it is. Here's the speedway. All right, 5K to go. This is the part where Jenny really gets to open up the bike. I've been asked a lot, is the speedway bank? And the answer is yes, quite so. But when you're in here running, you can run on this part, which is fine. Okay, as a NASCAR driver, when you come through here, you get a white flag, meaning you have one lap to go. No white flag today, but I got one lap to go of the line of motor speedway. Mile and a half. All right, I'm on pit road, coming out to the end. 300 meters to go, according to my watch. You can see the finish line right up there. We're heading for it, 250 meters. Imagine these stands are just full of fans waiting for you to take that checkered flag. 150 to go. And I'm actually, that's the finish line right there. But I watches it. Just hit 13. So I think I probably ran really good tangents because I ran exactly 13 miles. Big thanks to Jenny for showing me around. This is a really cool course. It's not pancake flat, but it's not hilly. It could be really fast. Could be a PR kind of course. There's Victory Lane. <clears throat> I didn't run a PR, but running 13 miles on a Thursday morning. I feel like I should go have some, something bubbly in Victory Lane. You can still sign up if you're a NASCAR driver. You've got a fun, like a million dollar operation to get on this track. If you're a runner or a walker, you just gotta pay the entry fee. 
at linotruckclub.org. You can sign up for the 5K, which is almost all in here, most of it, the half marathon or the marathon, February 27th and 28th, Atlanta's Marathon Weekend. Can't wait to see you here.